All right, welcome back to another episode of No Money Spent. Buckle up, because this is gonna get crazy. It's hot in April. I'm just kidding. But uh, here's the squad. I have been a little bit lax on the uh, No Money Spent videos for NHL, simply because uh, I've been obsessed with MLB, so sue me. Uh, that being said, we're gonna finish out our Hut Champs run. I am so bored of my team, and a couple things. One, I started only focusing on No Money Spent in, like, the back half of January, so technically I've been able to do an MSP from every single event by just playing the game like not even a ton basically just doing hut champs for the most part uh and i'm happy i've got two team of the season players uh, i've got a team of the year guy i've got two team builders in yager and jeff bookaboom so I'm, I'm happy with that third and fourth line are just a mess i mean we have the goat from nhl 23 in jared mccann who might go down as one of the best launch msps we've ever gotten uh and then on defense bookaboom makes it a lot better because i actually have someone good in my second pairing of uh, weber and Faravari. uh and then we've got lidstrom and mckenzie weaker i would love to get rid of this lidstrom and Uyghur simply, I mean, he's been such a good soldier for us, but it's time to move on. And then we've cut Hellebuck and Ned, who is just getting absolutely shelled. I mean, I'm winning more games than I'm losing, but he has just been awful. Um, It's just simply time to move on, but I only got 33,000 coins because, uh, well, I've been playing a lot of MLB. So we're going to finish uh, Hut Champs. There's a couple things that we could do. I thought about uh, making one of the new 95 overall Hut Champs cards because that could work. I tore down Barzal a little bit to get McKinnon uh, up to his 90 or 95 or whatever it was um, with his X-Factor and then traded him in. So we're going to move on probably from Matthew Barzal. I still think he's a fine X-Factor. I do. I think he's one of the better ones, to be honest with you. But uh, we're getting to the point in the game where if you don't have any of his abilities activated, and really the only ability to activate is Elite Edges, Elite Edges doesn't have the same advantage that it did at the beginning of the year that it does now because everyone has uh, maxed out agility and deking and all that kind of stuff. So it's just time to move on. And then I went and looked. I don't want to make this all about MLB, okay? But... But when you play MLB, guys, you can make a squad and be good at the game with whoever you want from your own team. It's something they do amazing. Here's the thing. I'm at the point now where I think that if you've been focusing solely on getting the best cards, enough of that. What you should be doing is getting your favorite players. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to load in today. I'm like, I'm going to focus on the next shark to go out and get. Went and looked at the sharks. I mean, dude, respectfully, I can't get Eric Carlson's team of the season because you simply can't make him. And then his prime time. We'll take a look at his prime time card. There's none up. Okay, perfect. That's fine. We'll move on to William Eklund, who is one of my favorite prospects uh, for the Sharks, if not my favorite. Oh, there's not a him either. Okay, you know, we're, we're 0 for 2 here. We got the trade deadline, Eric Carlson, because that's really the only card that we've got if, as you're a Sharks fan. And that kind of makes sense because he's the only one that's been good. Let's go see if we can get this Eric Carlson at least. Um, and oh, we can't. Okay, this is PS5, by the way, uh, the most played console. Then Kocher and Hurdle, we're down at 91s. And I guess technically this Logan Kocher is like, ugh. I mean, he's got 86 faceoffs, you know, as a 91 when he's actually pretty good on the draw. Tomash Hurdle, also very good on face-offs, and his face-off rating is dookie. So, okay, let's get this 91. We can get this 91. Huh? Okay. All right. Let's go get Kachur then. I mean, we got 33,000. We should be able to get him. I'm just kidding. We can't. So, like, this is my issue, man. There's none of these cards up because they keep releasing these cards, like these random one-off cards, and the problem is they're only in packs for three days. No one opens up packs in this game anymore because the NHL 23 was absolute tire fire, and, uh, you know, I don't want to make this a rant, but I guess I kind of turned it into one. Uh, I'm just frustrated by it. So now I'm stuck with a team that, you know, if, if we take a look, McDavid, one of my favorite players, and his card has been awesome. Yarmir Yager is the best card in the game still. I don't care what anyone says. You can, you know, debate a wall. Nathan McKinnon, awesome too. And then we've got Bedard, who has actually pleasantly been, um, you know, one of my favorite cards, because this is a card that in prior years, I would have been like, everyone avoid. He's awful. He's not six foot nine. Pointless card. And you know what? He kind of surprised me. All right. I was actually able to score them a bunch. His team of the season card got unstoppable, gold unstoppable force, and that helps out a little bit. It doesn't make him better than a lot of other cards, but it helps with some of the deficiencies that he's got. He's been a pleasant surprise. I mean, I played champs and uh, actually just champs. So 14 games of champs, and he's a, almost a point per game player. I've liked Tavares, but dude, as a Sharks fan, I can't stress how much I hate John Tavares. Yo, stay with me here. He ruined three franchises by choosing the Leafs, including the Leafs. I mean, you know, I'm going to get a ton of Leafs fans in the comments about how, you know, that this isn't true. But I don't care. If he would have just taken the 12 milli offered from San Jose, the Sharks wouldn't have had Eric Carlson. And yes, he has 100 points this season. Unbelievable. He showed up in the worst season in the Sharks franchise history. They would have had John Tavares in 2019. And if they would not have won the cup, they would have never, ever won the cup. That 2019 team, yes, the Pavelski goal and the hand pass and, and all of that. You need luck to win in the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Sharks got all of their cup run luck. And then everyone got hurt in game five against St. Louis. They would have beaten St. Louis. I'm so 
convinced that that would have been the year had Tavares just signed. And they didn't. You know, the Islanders, they can't score a goal to save their life. You think they would have not been better had they just, you know, John Tavares just signed with them? And then you've got the Leafs. I get it. John Tavares has been great for the Leafs. You know, he's point per game player, everything that you needed. Imagine the Leafs with Petrangelo because that's really probably what would have happened. They would have had 11 million more dollars, okay? They would have had all that money. Alex Petrangelo wanted to be a Leaf or would have been a Leaf, had the money to do it, and, uh, you know, is what it is. So he ruined three franchises, so respectfully, I like his card, but as a Sharks fan, ugh. And then we got Anthony Manta. Uh, again, people told me he's too slow. Kiss my ass. He's not. He's a great card. He scores every time that I need him to. He's got 107 goals in 224 champs and rivals games, you know? So he's got no good abilities, but he's 6'5", 234. He goes well with Bedard. But then my third line is, like, just boring. Like, I'm just bored, you know? And then my fourth line, these guys are event cards that I had to throw into my lineup for an event that happened seemingly, like, three months ago because we've just had team of the season for the last, you know, actual month. And then the GOAT. McCann's not going anywhere. He's staying on the team the whole season. I, how many games have I played with him? 843. Oh my god, I need to touch grass. And then on defense, like, I mean, I was like, what, like, three when Jeff Bukaboom was a ranger? Like, you know, I know his son more than his than him, you know? But his card is amazing. His card is amazing. Mark Stahl. <sighs> Uh, Faravari, I can't even pronounce his name. Shea Weber is actually a fun card and really good. The only thing I don't like about Shea Weber is that they saved him for the second week, uh, because I made Lidstrom because I had to make a, a master set player for every single event. That's the goal of the series. And, uh, this Lidstrom card has been, you know, he's the definition of like, mm, wah, 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 wah. and then Uyghur has been great, but it's like, you know, it's April. So, and then Connor, <laughs> I mean, Connor Hellebuck, I'll be like, eh, yeah, all right. Anyways, let's, uh, let's just get into a game. All right. Here's the situation. I'm eight and six, uh, still Still playing by the rules of if I get down by two goals, I basically just stop playing and I quit out. I'm also not good at the game. So we're eight and six. We got six games left. We got to get to 11 wins because that's like the, I don't know, deemed one we got to get to. And, uh, you know, it makes for some intense content. We got six games left. I'm, I am not stopping this video, this episode. I apologize, Trevor, until I get to 11 wins. So God help me, I don't win three straight. So, you know, buckle up, like I said. You know, that's another thing I'm really frustrated about this game is the fact that ping is so determinant. And I used to be like, whatever, man, just battle through it. The second you play on two straight line and go back to like, you know, 20-ish, like it's, uh, you know? I woke up and chose violence today, man. It's a big save. What? Why? <laughs> like, I can't even play this game when I want to play it. Like, why? I let you won. I'm asking why I would like to play. All right, two more to go, fellas. What's our ping at? 22, 27. See, this is the thing. I don't get straight line ping anymore at home. And like, where you notice it is like spins and cuts. Okay, here we go. Excellent pass. Nope. Let's go. And you're telling me it's not hard to be a content creator in NHL. All right, one more. We got four games left. Actually, we can get to 14 wins. I mean, I might as well just keep it up, dude. Sorry for everyone that wanted to watch a, you know, a long video. I, I planned on making like an hour long no money spend video because it's been a minute. Hockey Town 30. Isn't this a guy in my chat? Okay, we're going three for three. Sunday sauce. Accurate. Here we go. Buckle up. I swear to God, if you leave this game, I'm banning you from my chat. It's Mantha, dude. The connection of Bedard and Mantha, rivaled by few in this game. These not a dollars are buzzing right now. What the? F what the hell was that? Need a writer? How did Need a writer knock him off like that? God, I gotta get this Barzell off my team. I mean, he was a great soldier. Really, our best card for the first like two months. Damn, I can't get around. Just trying to. I'm just trying to cycle, my dude. Gotta aim lower than that if you look at the rebound. Big block by Dino. Get by him. Captain, get up. 
Dude, Kalen Addison hadn't scored in like six months, and I think Capo Kakinen like overtook him. So those guys that just waited all season long, congrats. All right, good first period. Do you ever play on your God Squad or just not a doll? I don't play. I don't play on my God. I haven't played on my God Squad in probably two over two months, man. I'll never spend money on this game until it's actually worth spending money on, and I I, I mean that regardless of if it affects my numbers on YouTube next year, like. I'm just so over it, bro. Let's go, Weber. Oh, not like this. Oh, what a po check. Let's go, Bedard. Ah. He's still a small boy, even with unstoppable force on. Like, it helps, but if you get someone that's pretty big, like, they're just... Big save, Hellbuck. Like, I honestly think no money spent is the way that Ultimate Team modes were in, were designed to be, or, like, intended to be played. Because if you spend money on the game, it's the, the way that it should be is that because you don't have enough time. So you're you're spending money to catch up because of all the people that can grind the game, and that I understand. You know, if you you know you you have adult money and it's your passion and you like playing it, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. And I did that for a long time. But if you have time, play no money spent, and like everything will mean more because you didn't spend anything. You know, oh, that's a bad. Yeah, fair. He's not going to do anything. Bang! That was perfectly executed. Oh, that was good. You know, rebound goals are dirty. They aren't clean. But when you actually get them to do what you want, I'm all for it. Third line coming up big there. I have like four ni number 19 players, I think. Big save. Let's get the puck back. Yep. Yeah. Lidstrom, let's go. That's a great breakout. Oh, man, I almost had it. All right, here we go. This is for win number 11 in record time. How fun is no money spent on NHL versus MLB for you? Honestly, like, no money spent on NHL was actually somewhat enjoyable, but simply because, like, in MLB, when you grind for a card, it's so much easier to get that card. So, like, it's a very different, like, thing. So, like, when you, when I grinded, for example, to get the two clutch moments, guys, I got Tavares and I got uh, Stahl in one, in one week of no money spent. Like, that was actually pretty satisfying because that was hard to do. Like, that is not that is not a simple task because this game does not make it easy to get, you know, MSPs. But there's so many more ways to play MLB um, that make it more enjoyable, right? Like, so obviously it's way more fun in MLB, but I also like hockey so much more than I like baseball. Not I love, I love baseball, by the way, but... Come on, man. That was a perfect play. It's a great block right there. They give out way too many high-rated cards in MLB. See, I don't I don't agree with that. Because high-rated cards in MLB mean much less than in NHL. So in MLB, you could have a 99 overall card. And if you can't hit, if you can't hit a fastball up and in on All-Star, it doesn't matter if you have a uh, if you have a 125 overall rated card. So it's much different. Whereas a 99 NHL is just 99 stats across the board. They have the highest speed, all of that. So it's it's a much different thing. I'm actually okay with what they've done. The season format that they've kind of created. Um, we'll see how like how it works later on. Like when you can't use set one cards, how annoying it is. But I've actually really enjoyed it. It, it keeps the game fresh. Not to mention all of the... Like imagine you have like all of the cards, like your favorite players... Right? Like, Adam Duvall, let's say. Adam Duvall, who's one of my favorite... Like, he's becoming one of my favorite Red Sox already. He's having an amazing start to the season. Now, normally, with normal progression, right? Like, he would be a 92 overall, right? But then he's 92 for the rest of the season. Like, that card, you know... But even though he hit so well, hitting that well, regardless of when it is in the year, should be worth a 99. So now I get to use him all the time, right? If I wanted to. What a bad force, man! God, man, why can't they inter make inter pass intercepts, bro? It's like, that's a terrible pass. I have a guy standing right there. Oh, man, you got caught looking the wrong way there, dog. It's just... My voice cracked. I sound like an idiot. The one-timer from way far out is slowly making gold 1T like a viable option. Let's go. Philip Deneau, you drive that net. Let's go. Boyko, not the most, like, non-NHL player that has 
like become known in hockey because of this game. What a tip. I mean, you can't teach that. Dr. Deflection. Let's go. 11 wins in a dream. All right, big couple of dubs there. No one wanted to play. I respect Hockey Town 30 for sticking it out. That was a pretty good game. Was able to pull away a little bit there in the third. Three points from Philip Deneau, my third line after roasting him. He doesn't want to go anywhere. I mean, there we go. We had six games left. We got to 11 wins. What, 14 wins? Like, what would that even give me? Like, th this this not being adjusted to is just pure, like, I don't want to say laziness, but the, the fact that this hasn't been fixed. Like, again, for anyone that's new and hasn't really paid attention, why 11 wins is just... The, all you got to get to it's the five hut champs collectibles that's the big worth there so five hut champs collectibles is worth like you know thirty thousand per issue is is that 13 wins which is much harder to do than 11 it gives you the same amount of uh hut champs collectibles the only thing different is you get a jumbo elite players pack instead of a jumbo premium players pack uh, and then at 14 wins you don't get anything so like it's it's legit pointless i i feel like they don't realize the difference in player ability if you can get to 14 wins um because 15 wins is borderline top 100 um and obviously you if you can get to that you want to play that out but there's really no point for an extra pack um so we'll probably stick at that now i was talking with my chat prior to the video and i really don't know what i'm gonna do i have to wait for the next event so this friday thank god team of the season is over this was one of the worst team of the seasons in my opinion just lackluster you know it just was not good all the way through the card arts how they released it it was very little buzz you know it, it just fell flat um so i'm hoping the next event i'm assuming it's a playoff event uh which would be awesome We'll see about that. Um, let's see. Do I have enough to do another? I've been doing these upgrade sets. Like, I can't wait to start the year and be full no money spent. Just because I've been just rifling off these sets. And I don't know why, but it's so satisfying to do them. And using my entire collection at all times. I think I've really figured out the formula for no money spent, by the way. So, I'm excited for next year in that aspect. Because I'm not giving them a dollar. And, okay, we got two NHLers. That's fine. So, now what you can do with that. Because I'm done team builders and I'm not going to be working on them. What you do with that is you come over here. Go and take a look here. How many... NHL or how many gold players do I have now? Let's take a look. So all your NHL players, uh, see, okay. So I have a lot of tradable ones, so I'm not going to do these, but any non untradable ones, if you're not making team builders, just throw those in under 80. And, um, you know, there you go. That would be huge. That's what I just did for my entire collection at all times. But, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of no money spent guys. Also one more thing. We're going to get Lemieux or Gretzky. I know it. We're going to get Lemieux or Gretzky. Stay tuned. Have a good one guys.